Hi Taurus! Welcome to your April reading. Yeah, I know, we're halfway through April. Better late than never, so don't yell at me, please. Um, we're gonna talk about what's your general lesson for the month, your money and your career, your love life, whether you're single or coupled, how other people perceive you this month, your emotional self, and I'm gonna talk about your crystal of the month, so let's get started. Taurus. Okay, in general, what is your overall theme or lesson for the month? And they're like, you might not be consciously sort of lifting up your energy, your vibe, all right? Um, you've got to use this month in order to kind of like boost your vibration of love. So if any of you have ever seen um, some of the videos by Christy Marie Sheldon and she talks about law of attraction and getting all this stuff that you want, you want to be radiating at the energy of love or above. And that's when you start getting all of these things that you desire. So check her shit out if um, you're interested in more information on that. So. Um, what's going on with you in general in regards to career money this month? And they're saying everything's working out for its highest good. So people that you're letting go of, jobs that you're letting go of, anything that you are moving on from or any hardships that you're going through, it's like, okay, things are going to end up better. So for example, um, maybe your best friend gets fired, right? The person that you're working with, your, your work bestie, and that super sucks. But as a result, you become way more productive because you're less chatty, right? Things like that. Um, ultimately, things look really stable. Uh, people admire you. you um, you're like extra, I don't know how to describe this necessarily, but if you have any sort of like leadership position at work, this is a really great month for you. People are looking up to you. You seem like you're totally in control. People are trusting what you have to say. Um, you seem like in control of your emotions. And generally, you should be very happy with the outcomes at career in regards to career and work. Um, this should be a very drama-free month in regards to you. Now, like I said, there might be drama going on around you, but it'll actually come to your benefit. And it's not rude or mean if you celebrate that a little bit, you know, whatever. In regards to your love life, if you are a single Taurus, what's up? They're saying, ooh, you're extra attractive this month, yay! So people will be like really, really drawn to you. You're extra flirty, you look extra happy, you look extra sexy, you're extra fun, you're extra creative, like all of these wonderful things. So they're saying, um, the deal is though, that people who are meeting you despite that, that might make them a little bit paranoid, like maybe they're not good enough for you, or maybe you wouldn't be interested in them. Um, so although they want to couple up with you, you might be a little bit intimidating. So how do you kind of transmute that energy and turn it around so you're more approachable? And they say, um, by focusing on what it is that you desire and what you want in a partner, essentially, because you might be putting vibes out like you're confused about what you want. Okay, and so then other people, when they're already a little bit afraid of you, like they think they're not good enough for you, if they have no idea that they might be the kind of person that you're somewhat interested in, they probably won't even open up a conversation with you. And they say, yeah, it does take a little while to focus in and think about the things that you desire, the things that you want in a relationship. But if you spend just like one day writing down everything you want in a relationship, then it makes it a little bit easier to assert what it is that you're looking for, or even for like the universe to kind of pick up on that energy and relay it to other people. They say um, some of you are more inclined to kind of just couple up with anybody because you don't want to be alone this month. And they're like, don't do that though because you're extra super attractive this month. You look so hot this month. Um, so don't cave into any sort of weaknesses like that because you could uh, level up in your potential dating circle this month, if that makes sense, you know? Okay, for those of you who are coupled, what's up in your love life in April, and they're saying you might be focused on the things that's are, that are wrong with the relationship as opposed to the things that are going right in the relationship. And so they're like, you're entitled to your feelings, um, but by focusing on that, like, it doesn't put you more in control, right? Like, if you're 
nagging your partner and you're trying to control them, that's not going to be something that's good for them because all they're going to do is think about the past and how much easier it used to be before you turned into a nag. Now, not all of you are nagging, but for those of you who are, this could end. This could come, your relationship could come to an end because your partner is just going to be like, fuck it. I, I never do anything right. Like I just can't even anymore. And so as I say that, I was at four minutes and 44 seconds into this recording. And what that means as an angel number is like, if things aren't that bad, if they're stable, let them just be stable. Focus on the things that your partner is doing right so that they do more of that. They're saying this month might not be, um, like an ordinary month for you in your relationship and they're like so really try hard to focus as long as your partner is focused on the past also focus on the past and the things that were good about it back then and if your relationship was always sort of unbalanced in regards to like energy exchange who's doing like a certain amount of housework versus the other person and that doesn't feel good then maybe it's time to reevaluate the relationship that you're in especially when single Tauruses are super super attractive this month it might also be a time for you to level up now um how are other people perceiving you this month and what they're saying is um, they're not perceiving you accurately at all. Like they can't get a good feel on what's going on with you. Some people are going to be perceiving you as maybe sort of sad or depressed, even if you're not. Um, and then the other portion of people are going to be like, this is a really exciting person. This is the kind of person I want to be around. This is the kind of person I want to fuck. That's what I'm getting. So, I mean, if you ever wanted to be a slut, April is your month. What's going on with your emotional self? And they're saying, it seems like you don't have a lot of choice, like as to how you're feeling and things like that. But this is a very, very powerful manifestation month for you. Um, you can get the things that you want so long as you're radiating at love or above. Like I said, everything that you're thinking about is very possible, very possibly going to come true. So make sure that you're keeping your thoughts very positive, okay? Now, in regards to your crystal of the month, it is so pretty. Oh my gosh. So... It's hard to see it maybe in um, this light, but it's called Royal Aura. See how it's like very metallic and super, super shiny. I love it. It actually probably looks better on the website. So there's like a link in the description box below if you want to check it out. But see how many beautiful little sparkly colors are in there? Can you see like the purples and the... Anyway, what is it good for and why would you want to get one? Um, it helps you to feel calm peaceful. It gets rid of stress and tension like in your psychic um, aura, but then also in your body. It clears like rooms and spaces. It's super powerful for how tiny it is. Um, it makes your communication more effective and more effortless, which will help you in your relationships. Um, it's very, very helpful. <laughs> Notice how like my third eye started to itch <laughs> because it's super helpful with your meditation. So um, it makes you more intuitive. You can put it here, although it is correlated to the crown chakra. Uh, but it helps you with like your intuition. It helps you to heal intuitively. It helps you with your perception to kind of like know what's going on with other people, to express empathy for others as well as yourself. It helps you to um, transmit information telepathically. So for example, in a relationship, if there's something you want your partner to do, but you're just like sick of saying it, you can send that message like straight out of yourself, connect it with their energy and they'll just know, you know? So I guess you could covertly nag <laughs> that way if you can't get rid of the nagging. Um, it'll help you to clear your mind. It releases old emotions and um, any manifestation blocks that you have. So it's super, super powerful in helping you to manifest the things that you want. So like I said, you know, this is a very powerful manifestation month. You can have whatever you want as long as you're radiating at love or above. If you're not there, this crystal will help you. So that is your month, love and light, and I will see you in May. Oh, a happy birthday to Tauruses who are coming into that. All right, loveies. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!